here we are. Hot pot, baby. Let's get, get some. This is interesting and not too commercial, you know? Taking people to spots where they're like, oh, I'd never find this if it wasn't for that guide. So as this bubbles up, all the fats melting and stuff, I'll tell you what we're doing here. Um, this video is about me putting together a food guide for you guys. And Sarah's earthquake in the table. <laughs> and uh, basically I wanted to show you some of the places that I'm recommending for this food guide. Um, I'm also, some of them I'm visiting for the first time. I want to make sure that they're good. I've heard good things about them. This is a new experience for us, this hot pot place. So. Um, Basically, we're here to test it out, make sure it will work for this food guide, and uh, I need some delicious food. This hot pot is actually pretty impressive so far. They brought out the ingredients all dry and just kind of poured in some, she was calling it, I think, duck water or something. And uh, she poured that in, but turned it on, and all the fat melts and stuff, and it's just starting to bubble up now. I think it's going to be pretty tasty. But yeah, um, I don't know. That's some spicy beef. So, when you go for hot pot, you want spicy. This is called deadly beef, and this is one of their specialties. It's uh, incredibly spicy beef. You can see the peppers all over it and um, you cook it in the spicy pot there and it's just mouth-burning goodness right here. Whoa. Get your beer ready. I was gonna say it's deadly but yeah we knew that. That's what it said on the menu. Oh. Tons of chili, chili flakes, chili seeds. There's lots on it. My head's starting to sweat already. And you dip it in the sauce, which is you know, sesame oil, and it cools down the food a little bit. It cools down temperature. It cools down heat-wise too. Yeah, babe, it's good. Oh, yeah, bad. That's bad. It just feels like a, like a sliver of really tender beef. Just like packed with spice. Yeah. Does your mouth feel like it's on fire? Not too bad? Yeah, it's spicy, but it's like that. This right here is sweet potato noodles. It's, made, it's noodles made out of sweet potato starch. And they're pretty good. They suck up that hot pot flavor and they're chewy. Kind of a cool texture. Yeah, some people hate them. Some, like slippery, slimy kind of thing, but... Oh, those noodles are good. They're really good. Yeah. Uh, that's it. We finished hot pot. And this is how you feel after hot pot. You feel full. You feel like your whole body is numb and burning at the same time. You just want to like just nothing. I don't know. I can't think right now. But we finished off all that food pretty much. I'm sure there's some stuff floating around in here somewhere. See all that there? That's chili peppers and numbing peppercorns. That's hua jiao. That is the ultimate Sichuan combination. But it leaves you like feeling like sleepy in a way or you almost feel like you're in a coma or some kind of trance. I don't know. I'm just like totally out of it, but I'm pretty satisfied. That was really delicious. Uh, this place is, flavor-wise, it's probably the best in the city. The atmosphere 
is obviously, it's not like a fancy place and there's some really nice fancy hot pot places. Um, but that's not really what I like. I like something like this, like I feel like in a person's house. You know, there's some interesting decorations, some old school feel to it. And the food is just amazing. So this is my hot pot recommendation. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have a sample of the menu so you can figure out what you want ahead of time and you just fill out a form, you put checks next to what you want. So all you need is the characters with the translation. So I'm gonna hook you guys up with all that stuff in the guide. Okay, let's go home and sleep. Yeah, pray for good health. One day I'm really gonna ball. Fuck around and buy the home ball. Breaking that cake. Texas have a hundred in the bank. Not a superhero, I don't say.